Hello my friends, Boomy here again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. Well, with Tuesday coming around and 5.6 coming around for us to continue the story on the little tra traitor known as Theron John. We like to see what he's up to with this new little haircut and why he's being such a twit stick. But with 5.6 coming about with the new patch, we all know we're going to get some new goodies and new toys in the cartel market so open up your wallets now now in this new pack that's coming the spoils of war pack we are going to get the long awaited the most anticipated revered master's armor set as you see here now the big thing about this armor set right here is the fact that the hood is finally down that's right none of the weird hood up and crap but the hood is finally down and this is looking pretty sweet and i'll probably try to pop on this as well or to save all my cartel coins for a freaking life day next on the list is the zakoon securities armor set now if any of you have seen the uh a video i did which had some of the stuff in it um it was early concept data mine stuff and we didn't have all the names yet but now we do so zakoon securities armor set looking pretty cool looking pretty cool she's in action right she's like don't mess with me man i got it i got a thing on my head for the 1970s it's, it's pretty grand next up is the in in mat in in enigmatic oh my goodness operatives armor set looking pretty cool not sure it's up with the mask i don't know maybe he's just like really like paranoid about like stuff getting in his face in his lungs who knows it's looking pretty nice i'm pretty sure the different die set on that would make that thing look exquisite up next the unyielding trackers armor set that's right these are also part of the spoilers of war stuff i kind of think it looks bland but that's just me up next is the deep cover operatives armor set this one right here is going to be for direct purchase only I kind of like how it looks. I, I really do. I like it. Uh, I it's I might get it. Who knows? Up next is the calculated mercenaries armor set. This is also for direct purpose. Purpose purchase. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I like this one. I like it. I actually like the mask. And as any of you who have known me throughout the years within the community, through my podcast or through here, or through Twitch, um, you'll know I have a lot to say about the masks and helmets within Sotor. Because most of the time they make you look like stupid little robots or giant robotic bugs. I'm good. Also, coming up is the restored Kalamai Col Smugglers. Almost thought it said Snuggler set. That'd be completely different. That is also there as well. Now, no pack would be... Um, no pack would be complete without weapons. And the only reason I'm covering the weapons, I don't usually do that, but I'm covering the weapons because some of them look okay and some of them look pretty cool. So here's the Entropic Dual Saber. This is for direct purpose right here. Eh, it looks okay. Entropy Lightsaber, also direct purpose. And nothing job, you know, nothing groundbreaking with this one. The best act, the best ad, spoilers of war. This will be in this little daggers thingy right here. Now the scorpion stuff is looking kind of cool. Scorpion TK rifle, also spoilers of war. The scorpion TK sniper rifle. I mean, they it looks really boxy, so I'm not like gung ho for it. Now the, this next one, the scorpion TK vibro sword, which is also in the spoilers of war pack. I kind of like it. It also it looks like, you know, it could be a vibro sword, or if you're in a canoe, it makes for a great paddle. Um, up next is the Scorpion TK lightsaber. This one looks a little better. It looks a little better. It looks very mechanical. Like, you know, I could use this to fix my carburetor if cars still had those. Um, the Scorpion next up next is the Scorpion TK dual saber. Again, looks more like a tool than an actual weapon. Up next, the Scorpion TK short blade. That looks pretty cool. Again, a paddle for your canoe or you can make pizza with it amazing and i actually like this next one the scorpion t the scorpion t k double bladed vibro sword i actually kind of like that i mean you can also canoe with this as well but you know you had this the scorpion blaster these blasters you know the offhand blaster too they just look really boxy don't they i think they do and the scorpion tk assault rifle eh boxy again the man, the Mantillion Frontline Blaster. Eh, it looks like a toy gun. What? Eh? The Mantillion Frontline Sniper Rifle doesn't look that bad. It has a, eh, it has like a very like 1940s um, feel to it. The Mantillion Frontline Assault Cannon. This one actually looks pretty cool. It looks like something I would see in Wolfenstein. And the Mantillion Frontline Blaster Rifle. I mean, that's it. It is what it is. The Mantillion Frontline Dual Saber. 
again, like these and the lightsaber, they they look like tools that I wear. Now, mounts. We all love mounts. Everyone's always looking for a mount to have. The Chiss Talon Interceptor. This one looks pretty cool. It looks like it's flapping its wings. It probably does that. Orbrell, if I'm totally butchering these names, is because sometimes Star Wars people, the names you, you pick up are just like, what the hell? The Obrel, the Obrel Banshee. Eh, looks like a Trade Federation ship. Man, maybe that's what they're going for. This is probably going to be a hot item on the cartel market and on the GTN. The Vicious Drakkag. Drakkag. The Vicious Drakkag. That, and, and the thing actually looks pretty sweet. I don't know if it's my cup of tea, but it looks pretty sweet. Up here is the Vectron Raptor. It looks cool. It looks like it spins. It does look like a spin, doesn't it? That's cool. I'm down with that. The Republic at Guardians Deus. And the Spoilers of War pack it looks cool. Yeah, I, you know, I, I prefer sitting when I travel, but standing, I guess, is cool. The AC5 Broadcast Infiltrator. Broadcast. What did I say? Bromcast? Broadcast. Brom Stokums. Infiltrator looks cool. You know, you know the, us podcasters, us, us content creators, we can use this thing. We can go all around the fleet and all over the universe, and you can, you'll can you have to listen to us talk. And, of course, Life Day is just around the corner, so the Merry Ice Tromper is for a direct purchase. I will more than likely be getting this sucker right here. Um, prices aren't out yet, but we'll see. We also have our, our um, gray-red color crystals, our teal-black color crystals, um, it looks like mint. So what it is? The mini mogul NM1. That is a lot. That is a, a reward that we get for logging in. The juvenile experimental Varkata. Spoilers of war. That's cool. And some toys. I'm not a big toy person at all, but the model Umbaran T20 fighter is there. It looks cool, I guess. The Compero Jum Jubilee mini probe. Oh yes, that actually looks kind of cool. And looks like it's being flown on kites. Or it looks like it's taking things. Ah, uh, let's just fly a kite. It's just a thing. And we have new emotes. Scared. Ah, I can use those. That'd be great. Emote cartwheel. Oh, look at that. And this one I freaking love. The new flare. Snowtacular for direct purchase. Daddy wants that one right there. And another flare. The Old Republic. You also have a repair droid weapon tuning for spoils of war. So the droid comes out and, re and repairs you while well, you're dead. And a creature companion, the Croc Jaw, spoilers of war, and some new die sets as well. So, my friends, that's what we're going to have for 5.6. Make sure if you like it, go get it. Go spend that money like the good overlords of EA and Bioware wants us to do. And with Life Day just around the corner, I'm probably going to do it. Because why not? Friends, make sure if you like these things, comment, put your comments in the section below. Here, make sure you like the video because that helps the channel out a lot. And... If you like the weirdness, the weird freak show, if you feel like you're a black sheep of the gaming community, this is the home for you. So hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell button right there as well. And that'll let you know every time we post a video here on the channel. My friends, have yourself a good one. We'll see you around the corner.